Okay, Peter here, and we're going to keep continuing talking about uh, dealing with difficult people. And we're going to get a bit deep here, because now we're not going to focus so much on the person, but the question I have is really to direct at you yourself. And that question is, uh, let's uh, start off by saying, if you were a totally mature, enlightened, wise person, then you would be able to react calmly uh, around the most annoying people. The fact that you can't means that you're not there yet, which is fine, none of us are. But this can help you further your skill level at becoming mentally calm around difficult people. And so ask yourself, what are the bush what are the buttons that these people are pressing in me and what is it about myself and what inadequacies do I feel in myself that I would feel a sense of anger or frustration at being the object of abuse here now again it's very very deep and maybe it's something you might want to contemplate after the conversation is over rather than right there in the conversation but it's a good way to consider that and if you are really um, on the ball with this then as soon as you start feeling annoyed you actually suddenly come up with this question well am I at that highest level of mental skill that I can deal with this calmly or do I have some work to do and if you're getting emotional and negative then you have some work to do which is not a you know it's not a good thing or a bad thing that we all have this but it immediately makes you look internal and stay calmer in the light and, and be thinking about how more skillfully you can handle these negative people and in this way eventually uh, difficult people can actually be a source of uh, practice for you and a benefit in your ability to gain a skillful mind, which is the name of my company and what I'm interested in and what I'm all about. So have a think about that and hope it helps.